Let's do um, a recording here. This is for chapter 10, and what we're going to look at is um, an Excel file that I um, placed into the handouts section that you can then use to help you calculate um, present value, future value, um, as you might need to for any homework related to chapter 10. And if you just go to your main page and you look, click on handouts, that's where I'm at right here, so I'm in main page in handouts, and then just scroll down to unit 3 and that is where the chapter 9 and 10 stuff is at and you can see I've got a chapter 10 PV examples Excel file right there I've already got it open and here it is and anything in blue you can change and so what you see here is an example of a um, bond amortization table so this would be for the effective rate of interest um, for a bond amortization and in this example a bond sold for 107, 106 the face amount was 100,000. The effective rate per semi-annual period was three and a half, so double that. Annually, it was seven, and the standard rate 0.04. Um, double that's eight per year, or 0.04 for every um, every six months for twice a year for having a semi-annual payment. And then what's in black just calculates. And so I've got that for a premium example. I've got that for a discount example right here. And then I've got um, some present value formulas that you can look at right here when it comes to bonds or anything else. And so basically you can just choose to put in new inputs up here. And as you put in new inputs, that would change your um, numbers down here. Okay, so that's just a formula as you can click on that and see um, basically it's a rate, number of periods, and the payment, and then potentially a future value and then the times negative one just to make it be a positive number. If I didn't have that in there, it would come out as a negative number. And the same thing down here. So um, either way, um, just go ahead and plug in the numbers as you need to, or use a financial calculator, or simply just use the tables in the book. Um, any of those methods will help you calculate those numbers.